Microsoft says a smart art graphic is a visual presentation of your information and ideas. Okay. Let's now take a look at how to use smart art and how to animate smart art. You're looking at a deck of three slides. And what we're going to do is I'm going to show you that there's actually three ways of bringing smart art in and using it on a slide. The first one is if you take a blank slide like this one, you'll notice that we have the Excel spreadsheet you can automatically add or insert a chart. And then we have smart art, insert a smart art graphic. We click on that and now we can enter any type of smart art in here. You can see it on the right hand side right here, the different smart art that we can add. And we can scroll down. And here's the one that we're going to be using. This one is the same as what's over here on our last slide. This slide right here. So the first way is to bring it in from a blank slide. The second way to bring in smart art is to go up to home and to go over, well, to go over to your slide that has text. Click on the text box. Make sure the box is selected, solid line all the way around, remember? And then we go up here under Home, over to the right under Paragraph, and we have Convert to Smart Art. And we click on that, and we can go down and select the one that we want, which is right here. We click on that, and it opens up, and now we've converted everything to Smart Art. Notice how it took our text and put our text in each of the bars for us. We didn't have to do anything. So if I back up, do Control Z, our text is cloud, local, and hybrid. Go up to home, come over to smart art, go down to more, go down a little bit. Here's our smart art we want. There's cloud, local, hybrid again. Now, what is the second way to bring in smart, smart Art? Well, the second way to bring in Smart Art is to actually go up to Insert. And we can click on our tab down here, but it won't do, matter in this situation. But I'm just saying we can click on it. So I want you to know that it's still selected. We go over to Insert. We go over to Smart Art under Illustration. Click on it. Come down and get the one we had before right here. Click on it, OK, and it brings in the smart art. But guess what? The smart art's brought in, but our text was not placed in the smart art. Our text is still over here. So, what the difference is, we have a blank slide that you can pick up the smart art and I'll add it in. But when we get to slides where we've already put in text. And in other words, you did all your slides, you got all your bullet points are put in, and then you go to Smart Art. The only way to have that automatically converted from text to Smart Art is to go to the Home tab and select Smart Art and bring it in. That's the only way you're going to be able to bring it in is to select the Home tab, bring in the Smart Art that you wanted, and go down here to the one we want and bring it in. And there's our smart art. The other way just brings in the smart art itself and does not put the text in it. So you want to keep that in mind. Okay, let's say in our presentation we've changed everything. We brought in our smart art and we've changed to themes so we have a nice theme here whenever you use smart art the color of the smart art will go with the theme if you're in a theme if not then you can select whatever color you want you can still change these colors to something else by going up to the smart art and you can change colors right here okay this tutorial is about animating smart art so how do we animate smart art? Can we just click on it, come up to animation, say uh, fly in, but it all flies in. Hmm, so obviously that's not right. 
So how do we change it? There's other things you can play around with, like ungrouping and so forth. It's not going to make any difference. That smart art is stuck. And it'll only bring in one animation at a time. So if you did wipe, it'll bring in wipe, but on all of them. So how do you do it to where you can bring in the cloud separate, the local separate, and the hybrid separate, for example? What you can do is you can select on your smart art, click on it, oop, click on it, come up to smart art design, move all the way over to the right to where it says convert. Hit the convert and you can convert it to text or you can convert it to a shape. We want to convert to shape. We hit the shape button. Now it's now actually converted to a shape. We have one more step we have to do because it's still, if you look at this bar here, it's all grouped as one group. So we want to click on that bar and come up here to group and ungroup. Now, by the way, what I did on that, in case I moved pretty quick, is I clicked on here, right click, right clicked, and went down to group, ungroup, and now, what do we have? We have it all ungrouped, all the items in the smart art. So for example, does it work? Well, let's see. We can click on the cloud and we can click on the circle next to the cloud with a shift. We can come up here to animation. We can say fly in. Hey, it works. Come over here to the next one, shift. And say uh, we want to wipe. Oh, there's our wipe. We can come on the last one. We can select the circle again with a shift and we can come in with a uh, swivel. There's a swivel. So then we can go back out to our presentation view and we can go down from the first slide, second slide. Here's our slide with the items we changed. Fly in, swipe, and the swirl. So that's how you animate in smart art now before we close let me add some things there are some people that say why use smart art why not do it yourself well the advantage of using smart art is simply the fact that it's faster if you're putting a presentation together and you need you don't have much time and you want to put it together quick you can quickly add the theme you can quickly add your smart art and it looks good now, some people say, well, it doesn't look professional. Well, about anything you can do with smart art and not doing using smart art, but actually using your own graphics, you can still pretty much do with smart art. You just need to know how to move around in it. But true, you can create all these things in your own graphics. Appreciate you watching this tutorial. Give us a thumbs up and have a great day.